Welcome. In this video, I am going to explain uh, how to use simple exponential smoothing, Holtz method, Holt winter method, Arima method, ETS method for forecasting a univariate series. So first of all, we have library tidyverse, which is our umbrella package. Then we have library tsible, basically, which is for time series data forecasting, library tidyr, library uh, uh, forecast. So for forecasting, okay. Now we first first thing is how to load this data. After loading data, the next step is always to inspect that data. So we are inspecting data data and we are seeing that what are our first 10 values. So in this data, we see the first value is uh, period is monthly US million dollars. Basically, that's not the correct way of presenting data. This first row should always be this X period and total should be column names and these should be either dates or these should be values. So we have to remove this monthly and US million dollars and exit column is no more needed as well. So I will remove first column, first row. Uh, uh, another way of uh, visualizing this data that you have X, which as an integer period is character. It's not date. So it's not properly read. So total is not in uh, digit double. It's in, uh, it's also a character because your first value US million dollar is added among other numerical values so system the machine does not know how to add these things so if any any num character variable comes any character comes in uh, your data of numeric column it will make the whole column as character so uh, I am going to remove the first row means the, uh, the first row that will be your uh, uh, first row and first column this will remove X so first row first column will be removed and now we have total rem remittances. So as this data total is still in character, I have to convert it into numeric. So, and now if you see, so you have now this to period and total, this data is now in proper format. And you can see here that this is period February and, but date is still character. So I have to create a sequence of date. So what I'm going to do here that I, I see what is basically my last 10, uh, last six values. Uh, so, so it's, it's up to uh, July 2010. So it means I, I am starting from 2024, February to, uh, 1st to 2010, July 1st by minus one month because your data is starting from 2024 and you have to go back. So it's, it's by one minus one month. Remittances and I am taking now it as date and now you see that this date variable is there and this date variable manipulation is always a tricky job. You have, you have to invest some time here and I, I don't need the, the basically uh, period. So you can, you can simply write down uh, 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 this as uh, uh, minus period and you have date as first and then the rest of the things as second columns. No. So if no, you see, uh, okay, if now you see, so we have date as first variable and remittances as second. So fine. Now uh, we can we can have uh, this plot, GG plot, data name plus aesthetic is date, remittances, y x geom line, labs, total remittances in millions of US dollars, x's, y axis, x axis, theme minimal. So you have now this. Um, uh, you can uh, see that there is there is a good P, uh, the, uh, the good increase in remittances after 2020 COVID phenomena, and then there is a downfall. Uh, so, uh, we are not discussing why it's there at the moment. We are just trying to learn this, uh, do this exercise. The very first simple method is naive forecasting, seasonal naive forecasting. What is it? That what will happen during next month? next 12 months so we have data for today so the february uh, uh, remittances will be for march april they, those will stay the same so you have no you see uh, the, these remittances forecast will be same and this is called benchmark mo model and we compare other models with the seasonal naive or naive method so you you can have for next 24 uh, months and so on so little little tweaking with the calculating month and year because this date column will read as daily data when I'll, I'll consider it as a table. So I have little little uh, basically tweaking here. So uh, index we are basically first of all we have calculated month here as and then we have indexed it. 
and now this minus date is no more needed because you have already month here column here and with little tweaking that first from where it's starting where it's ending and what is its frequency i'll provide all this video link um, as, as all these codes in the video link so auto plot no i have also a clip on uh, decomposition of uh, the time series data in using excel but it consumes lot of time and it's not reproducible how here you see a very simple very simple auto plot decomposition or you can simply write decompose total remittances and now you this is original series the first top panel second one is your trend third one is your seasonality so and last one is your irregular or random error so i mentioned that uh, there are four components of a time series trend season cycle irregular we model usually trend and season for forecasting cycle usually uh, occurs over more than a year time period so we don't model here so auto plot total remittances this data is time series data now we are doing simple exponential smoothing using uh, 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 this uh, total remittances data so very simple ses simple exponential smoothing total remittances for next 12 months forecast and you can plot it okay if you don't want just original values you want not a plot values these values are there old method is in simple exponential smoothing uh, we we wait uh, the previous value and the current value and if we have trend in our data the be better method is hold method you can see from theory and in hold method we don't deal with seasonality so it will give you a trend so you see here uh, there, is, there is a little trend and it's a forecast this dark blue is your 80 percent uh, confidence interval and light blue uh, is 90 percent hold winter method deals with seasonality as well as with trend so hw is the simple command and you have now this for uh, hold winter method and it's forecasting for future 12 months there is another way of uh, error trend and seasonality ets error trend and seasonality so you you have whether these are additive whether these are multiplicative whether some are additive some are multiplicative so it depends which type of model you are using so these the here we are assuming that it's additive 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 all components are additive this one and if you have some multiplicative some uh, additive you can you can have this uh, okay now you see here you have uh, the, in the title it uh, multiplicative additive multiplicative and next one is we are going to fit auto dot arima though i'll i'll explain arima modeling in our uh, in detail at some other stage I'll also, the next video will be profit modeling using R. So, auto data rima and it will take little time to uh, uh, run it and then we, uh, we see what's its summary and how we, how it look like. okay fine it's okay now you have uh, this mean absolute error mean percentage error root mean square error all these things so you see i have this uh, auto plot and i have forecast values as well so if i i mean that if i am forecasting for march from february data so my remittances are 2.39 billion dollars forecasted value when march actual value will come the actual value minus this forecast value will give you forecast error so forecast error square and then on the basis of this we calculate mean absolute error root mean square error mean percentage error mean absolute percentage error uh, acf and all that okay uh, so so it means i think that's all uh, fit arima that that's all for today uh, for this video so my next clip will be on profit model in r thank you for watching take care